Hello everyone and welcome to Werven's World. Today I would like to talk about main instruction. You might never have heard of main instruction but it's quite a useful tool for especially for exploring. Um, so you might remember from my previous tutorials that uh, when we were in a new planet you would open your console with Control C and then um, you would type in things like show RS pressure to find out if there is an atmosphere. You could do show RS um, composition, position, uh, show gg.g for the gravity, and so on. So basically to get a lot of uh, inf interesting information about the planet. However, this is quite slow, right? You have to do this for every planet you visit, and you have to type it all, and you have to remember the commands. You can actually do it automatically. So um, there's actually five hidden uh, panels here, information panels, that you can use. And that's you, know, you can use them through main instruction. So, um, for example, let's say I want to show the pressure of every planet I visit, uh, that it automatically shows the pressure there. So basically I can then do main instruction, add display zero. So you have five panels and they're called uh, one, I'm um, sorry, you have five panels and they're zero, one, two, three, four. So I want to add the pressure to display zero. Then I can type a bit of text uh, to tell me what exactly I'm measuring. For example, here we're measuring the altitude. So to make that clear, we have ALT behind it, that it's the altitude. So I'm measuring um, air pressure. So I want to, sh um, want to type in ATM as atmosphere. So whenever it reads a number, I know that the number is atmosphere, just to make it easier for myself, right? Um, then we have to type in the command show RS pressure. So main instruction add display 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 depending on where you want it. Um, then some text uh, for yourself. You don't have to add that. It's completely up to you. Then show RS pressure which is the command. So I add that and now you can see here that I'm measuring the pressure of this planet in, in real time. Um, so actually now that I'm, I'm falling down you can see the pressure increasing, right? So this is quite handy. So I always know the air pr pressure in any planet I, I kind of visit. So let's also show the temperature. So I can do main instruction, add display one. Um, then I want to show uh, the temperature in Celsius. So I add C behind it. And then uh, show RS temperature C. So temperature show RS temperature C shows it in, in uh, Celsius because if you have it without the C it will display everything in Kelvin. So I'm gonna get out of these clouds otherwise you don't see anything. There, now you see the text a bit better. So now I should get a window here that says the temperature with a, with a C behind it. There we go. It's uh, minus 40 something uh, Celsius so it's quite cold here. Um, let's also display the gravity. Main instruction add display to uh, show. Uh, well, I can do that in G, right? So one G is one Earth-like gravity. Uh, show gg dot G. Then it should pop up there. There we go. So this planet has two point three eight G. Um, and maybe it's also good to have the composition so we know what the what the air is made out of. Main instruction at display three. Um, yeah, so for this one I don't need anything behind it because I will just have the the composition readings, right? So I won't add anything there. So I just do show RS composition. Nope. Hmm. What did I mistype? Composition. Well, once we're solving this, I can uh, first show you other commands which are useful for this, which is a list and remove. So if I want to know which main instructions I have, I can do main instruction list. Then I see all the ones I have. Um, then I can do uh, also remove them. So apparently this this third one doesn't doesn't work, right? So I can do main instruction. Uh, remove three. There. So now the third one is being removed. So if I do main instruction list again, 
list, then I get only these 0, 1, and 2. So I'm going to try something. Uh, main instruction uh, add display 3. Maybe I'll just put a dot. Let's see if that works. Show rs composition. There we go. So now it works. So maybe you do actually need some text in there. Uh, maybe a space would also work. I'm not sure. But now, um, for every planet I visit, I get uh, how much water it has in the atmosphere, how much ammonia, how much nitrogen, and all that kind of stuff. So this will basically give you an immediate summary of planets you visit, except for the mineral composition, because you would need to take a soil sample from that, right? Um, so this would make exploring way faster, so you don't have to type in all those commands all the time. Uh, you can also add other show commands, but I think these are uh, the most useful. You can also, for example, add a show command that shows you how far along your probes are with, with probing a certain planet. Uh, but then you need to adjust your main instruction all the time to be showing you uh, the planet you're interested in. Otherwise, it would show you kind of all the information. And your entire screen would be green, which is not good. So, now you know how to use main instruction. Um, I hope you found it useful, and see you next time.